Okay, so in the next problem, we are going to find the GCD of 3587 and 1819. And further, we are going to write this GCD D in the form of uh, the linear combination 3587M plus 1819N. So we want to find the values of M and N here. Okay, now it is very clear that both M and N cannot be positive numbers because if both M and N are positive numbers, the GCD will become very big number, but we know that GCD is a small number. It is smaller than 3587 and it is smaller than 1817 because it is a divisor of both the numbers, right? So here M, if M is positive, then N is negative or if M is negative, then N has to be positive. So, so one of them has to be positive and other has to be negative. Both cannot be positive. Both cannot be negative. That is one thing that we have to remember. So now what we will do is we will first apply division algorithm and we will find the GCD of 3587 and 1819 in the first part. So it is clear that when I divide 3587 with 1819 and I find the quotient and the remainder, I can certainly write that 3587 is equal to 1819 multiplied by 1 plus the remainder will turn up to be 1768 1768 now when i divide 1819 by 1768 it is clear that 1768 multiplied by 1 itself will do my job so 1768 multiplied by 1 and here i need is 1819 so the remainder obviously after subtracting 1819 and 1768 will turn up to be 51 okay now i'm going to divide 1718 by 51 so 51 let me write 1768 51 multiplied by which number will reach the nearest to 1768 then you will understand when i multiply this by 34 times it will reach the nearest number and Yeah, the next division I will perform is of 51 and 34. When I do 51 and 34 division, 51 can be written as 34 multiplied by 1 itself, and the remainder will turn up to be 17. In the last step, I have 34 and 17 into 2, and that will give me the remainder equal to 0, which indicates that the GCD is 17 in this problem. So these steps, I will label these steps as equation 1. The first step I will label as equation one. Second step is equation two. And this is equation three. And this is equation four. So I have four steps which are important for us to express the GCD as a linear combination. So what is the GCD of the two numbers? The GCD of the numbers 3, 5, 8, 7 and 1, 8, 1, 9 is equal to 17. So now the next target is to find the values of M and N. And I want to express this 17 as a linear combination of 3587 and 1819. So I will start with equation 4 now because GCD is at in, in equation 4. So by equation 4, I can write it as 17 is equal to 51 minus 34 into 1 which can be written as 51 into 1 minus 34 into 1. So both the numbers in that step in equation 4 are important numbers are 51 and 34 and we have expressed 17 as linear combination of 51 and 34. So now it's time to move to step 2. I will write here by step, sorry, by equation 2, equation 3, sorry. Now it's a time to use equation 3. In equation 3, the remainder is 34. The remainder was 34. So I have to replace this 34 now. So I will write it as 51 into 1 minus 34 can be replaced by 1768 minus 51 into 34 and multiplied by 1 as it is. Now I will simplify this step, which is 51 into 1 minus. 1768 multiplied by 1 plus 51 into 34 into 1, which is 51 into 34 as it is. 
to collect the important numbers 51 and 1768 i see that the first and the last have 51 common in them so i will have 51 one times and 54 34 times which means that 51 will come 35 times minus 1768 multiply by 1 so we have expressed 17 as a linear combination of 51 and 1768 from equation 3 because in equation 3 51 and 1768 were important numbers this means that it is a time to move to equation 2 now in equation 2 we have the remainder as 51 so i have to replace this 51 from equation 2 when i do that I, in the bracket i will write what should i replace for instead of 51 is 1819 minus 1768 multiplied by 1 and outside the bracket i have to write multiply by 35 minus 1768 multiplied by 1 so when i multiply the numbers inside what am i going to get is 1819 multiplied by 35 minus 1768 multiplied by 35 minus 1768 multiplied by 1 the important numbers in equation 2 were 1819 and 1768. So here you see 1768 is coming two times. So I will clump them together. So this is 1819 multiplied by 35 minus. So 1768 35 times and 1768 once will become 1768 is, come, come, is becoming 36 times. So now we have expressed it as a linear combination of 1819 and 1768, which means that it is now time to move to equation 1 and eliminate the remainder 1768. 1768 from equation 1 can be written as 3587 minus 1819 into 1. So I will write that step over here now. So 1819 multiplied by 35 minus in the bracket i will write the replacement of 1768 which is 3587 minus 1819 multiplied by 1 multiplied by outside the bracket we have 36 so when i write it equal to 1819 i'm going to simplify this now 1819 into 35 minus 3587 multiplied by 36 plus the minus and minus is becoming plus 1819 multiplied by 36 as it is 36 into 1. Uh, in the first equation number 1, the important numbers were 3587 and 1819. So I have to write it as a linear combination of 3587 and 1819. I observe that 1819 has is, is coming two times. So we'll clump that. So 1819 35 times and 1819 36 times so in all 1819 appears 71 times minus 3587 multiplied by 36 as it is right and now this looks in the fashion of 18 1819 n minus plus let me like a plus 3587 multiplied by m and on the left hand side i have 17 here so this gives me the conclusion that the value of m ticket ticket bus segment bus So this means that M is equal to minus 36 and N is equal to 71. So, the, so this is the value of M and N. And this statement is trying to tell us that the GCD 17 can be expressed as a linear combination of the given two numbers 3587 and 1819.